equity markets have been extremely volatile so far in 2022. Investors have found themselves torn between conflicting domestic and global economic outlook. This mood has cast a spell on primary markets as well. In the last eight months, only 16 companies have tapped the primary markets via IPO route, raising around 40,300 crore rupees. In comparison, data from Prime Database suggests that 63 companies had raised a cumulative of 1.18 trillion rupees via the IPO route in 2021. We have seen a lull in IPOs after H2 CY21 and to some extent in Q1 CY22, if one excludes LIC and delivery. Aggressive pricing of new age companies, subdued capital markets and poor listing of many IPOs were the main reasons for this. Also, the promoters wanted to wait out for higher valuations, hoping for better times in the secondary markets. Markets showed some semblance of going back to the earlier mood, but we have once again seen some corrections setting in. Recently, online pharmacy FarmEasy withdrew its draft red herring prospectus filed with market regulator SEBI. It cited volatile market conditions and strategic considerations as the reason for this withdrawal. Besides, DreamFolk Services, India's largest airport service aggregator too, had scaled back its issue size by 20%, citing volatile market conditions. According to Dara Kalyaniwala of Prabhudas Leeladhar Capital Market, the volatility in the secondary markets impacts issuer companies' confidence, not only about the IPO sailing through, but also about the post-listing response. That said, a meaningful revival of the primary markets, though some time away, may be driven by stable secondary market conditions amid better Q2 FY23 results. As and when markets start a sustainable up move, we may see a spate of IPOs coming in, though the promoters would have to bring down their expectations of valuation in most IPOs. In this queue, we could have companies from Power, Aviation, BFSI, New Age Tech companies, hotels and FMCG companies, among others, trying to tap the primary markets. Investors will keenly watch inflation trajectory and actions of global central banks over the next few weeks. On Thursday, the markets will reopen after a day's holiday on account of Ganesh Chaturthi and will track global queues besides reacting to GDP data for the first quarter of the current fiscal. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.